few of you asked me what camera I use for doing my videos and actually I use two cameras. This one here I use the least but I find it's very convenient to take if I'm out on a hike or something like that. I find that uh, it has a little bit of trouble on the long zoom focus. It's a little noisy um, but for the size of the camera it's pretty good. It has 15 times zoom on it and it's a nice little compact camera. Um, one thing I don't like about all these new digital cameras is there's no viewfinders on any of them. Can't even find one that's compact with a good zoom and a decent video with a uh, viewfinder. And I tend to use it sometimes if I'm doing a long distance shot, like if I'm zooming or something like that. But this one has a 15 times zoom. Buttons are pretty easy to use. I don't tend to, you know, accidentally press any buttons that I don't need to. And so it opens and closes on its own here. There we go, and it's all closed up. And a little flash pops up there, which is great. And it has a decent zoom on it, so let's just take a look at that. I'll just zoom in on the clock. So that's the full zoom here. And it has macro and super macro and all you have to do when you want to record a video is just press the little record button. The audio is pretty good. It's not great in the wind. Uh, yeah, I like this little camera and I use this uh, from time to time when we're just going for a walk because I want to take something light. So now I'll record with this camera and switch to the camera that I use the most. Okay, so now I'm recording with my Fuji F550 EXR, showing you my Canon PowerShot SX20IS which I was recording this Fuji camera with. This one I've had for a while. I actually didn't know all the features and I wasn't using it properly for my original videos and I didn't know it was as feature packed as it was. Just one of those things I didn't take time to look at it and learn about it until I was thinking I need a new camera and then I just started looking at this one and found out that this is a fantastic camera and actually I paid a lot less for it than what they're going for now. So it has a dock on the top if you want a flash, uh, an, an additional flash, and it has its own uh, little built-in flash as well. And this one has a 20 times zoom. It's a very stable camera, and again, the buttons are tucked away nicely. You can uh, toggle easily from taking a photograph and zooming to taking a video. And it has all the same modes that most cameras have. I'm not a camera guru by any means. It has the pop out and swivel display here as well as the viewfinder, which I really like. So I just pop this thing on. And we'll look at the clock again with this guy. And as you can see, it's much smoother movements in this camera. and a better focus as well and you can just easily just press the button here it's easy to hold great grip you press the button here and it'll focus and take a photo and if I just press this little button right here with my thumb so everything is in line I can start taking video and so yeah I really like um, this camera it is a little hefty um, the other thing I liked about this camera is it takes standard batteries which is really hard to find most of them have the specialty batteries for the camera brand but this one just takes your that's why it's heavy it just takes your average I put rechargeables in here Let's just open this one up. so it just takes your standard battery so if you were somewhere and your batteries went dead you can pop into any corner store and pick up batteries so I do like that about it and uh, yeah so that's the uh, Canon which I use for most of my macro photographs I really do like this one much better for focusing I find this one that I'm using right now has more trouble focusing once you get into the 
macro type shots. Let's just try to take a macro. I'll put this, uh, I'm using my Fuji here now. And I got the macro setting. And I'm just going to take a macro shot with this. And let's see, it didn't turn out really well. I'm just going to switch over to my Canon and take a macro shot with the Canon. So I'm back to the Canon now in record mode. And I'll just take a macro shot of the Fuji here. And to me, this one takes a much better photo. So anyway, that's my two cameras, and I'm pleased with both of them for the different reasons that I use them for. And they both have a decent video. This Canon that I'm using here now has a much better audio. Filters better from wind and things like that. But this, again, is much more convenient. So that's the Fuji F550EXR. There's a Fuji Fine Pix F550 EXR camera and my Canon uh, SX20IS. That's it. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.